Okay, well, my camera died and I was recording all this. So let's start back from scratch. Although I can't not cut this in half anymore. Let me tell you what I'm doing. And we'll just use our imagination, shall we? Okay. My idea is to make a, a double bend wash basin um, for like camping or to keep in my enclosed trailer or whatever. If you don't have a sink and you're tired of washing dishes right there at the water hose at a campsite or wherever you're at. So I took a five gallon bucket that I got from Home Depot and a lid and I secured the lid on there. And then we took and found the exact center of the bucket, okay, and marked it all the way around. And then um, we cut it just with a little hacksaw. I made a mark all the way around, we cut it with a hacksaw. And my camera died and I realized it wasn't recording. Okay, so now that you have your bucket in half, it should be about the same height, upside down. With the lid on and with the bottom, you want them to be about the same. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to clean up the edges. If you had a little bit of sandpaper, it would work. I'm just using this old glove. I'm just kind of dragging it around the edge. Just to get some of these little shavings off. Smooth it up a little bit. You can use sandpaper, you can use whatever. Okay. Now, the only other problem I can see is we're going to have these two lips together. And I'm going to make a little hinge to connect them so they're going to be a little bit wobbly um, because they would sit perfect like this. It has to be a big old hinge area. But it'll still work out for our, what we want to do. Just bear with me. Okay, so we got it cut. We cleaned the edges up a bit. Let's see if I can find the two pieces here. All right. Now, what else did I buy? Now, I'm hoping this will work out. If not, then I'm just going to waste a bunch of space on my camera. If it does work out, then I'll put it on YouTube. So if you're seeing this, obviously it worked out. So I just bought some utility hinges. And I don't want to use the little screws come with it because they're little wood screws. So I bought some machine screws with some nuts. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do to, to keep it together. Okay. Mark your holes. Okay, so what we do, put the bucket back together, put this where we wanted to put it. Since there was a big gap here, I went ahead and put it there. Mark my holes. Now we'll drill out the holes. Fresh bit works really well. Now you ain't got to drill fast. You can see it's really spinning real slow. Okay, now we have our holes. Take our screws. Okay. Put our screws through, put our nuts on, I don't know if you can see this or not, oh, well, that one didn't go on too well, did it? I've got an idea that might work out if this doesn't work out too well, but let's, let's just see, shall we? Okay, that one side done. Connect the other side. Did that nut fall out? Ooh, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Okay, here we go.
it's probably an easier way to do this. I'm probably making it harder than what it needs to be, but that's probably what I'll do. All right, so let's get these started. I'm just getting these finger tight for now. I don't think I'm gonna have to torque the crap out of it. Okay, we have water in it. A good lid with a good seal and go ahead and put it on there. Tons of water, it's not leaking out. So you can do your dishes in one side, rinse them in the other, you know, however you wanna do it. So now we got our water in here. And this is gonna be our, um, storage and you know foldable washing buckets sort of for doing dishes uh, basins whatever you want to call it now if you need to get these further apart what I thought about is you could go ahead and put a couple of nuts on both sides here and there and that would stretch out, out a little bit further and give you a little bit more room but once the water in there it's not going to be rotating anywhere you know, flopping all over the place or anything like that now we got it closing We need to make this to where we can latch it here and also keep it to where we can pick it up and it actually be a container. Because what we can do is we can put our dishwashing detergent inside here. We can put some like microfiber clouds or some kind of dish towel so we can dry stuff off. What you know, whatever. You can actually put dishes in here if we make it sturdy enough. So let's see what we're gonna do about that. Okay, so. I cut these pieces of plastic, which I'll trim up here in a minute. Um, I cut them off of a little plastic sign. But here's what I was thinking. You take something like an old, another old bucket. Here's the problem. The problem is, yeah, this thing opens and closes, but look. It doesn't want to stay perfect. It doesn't line up perfectly. And even if I latch it, it's still going to be off and right and left. So what my thoughts are, take, um, take another bucket and cut some of it off. Or take some kind of plastic or something, wood, whatever you wanted to do. Get this thing lined up about where it needs to be. And then mount these to the bottom side of the bucket, like this. So when this bucket comes down, it lines up with it, and then you can attach it here. So let's see if I can make that work. I've only got four bolts left, and that's what I need. Put this on the exact side. Actually, I think I want them a little bit further apart. Now you don't want to go too far down, of course, because then you'd be drilling into your water and your water would be spilling out and all that good stuff. This should just give you some ideas. Now I'm sure there's a million other smarter people than me out there. And um, you know, people will be able to come up with a better idea. Hey, do this, hey, do that. Leave it in the comments below. Um, but this is just me thinking on the fly. In fact, I came up with this idea today, just out of the blue. I was washing, we, we, went, uh, we went camping this weekend and I was having to wash some cups out. And, I was like, man, it would really be a nice idea to have something to, to wash these in. I don't have a sink or nothing in my trailer. So anyway, I thought I need to come up with an idea of some way to wash my dishes, make life easier. Well, I did not want to, um, I didn't want to buy something. Why well, buy something when you can make it? Drill me some holes here. Line this puppy up. There again, um, sticks of wood like you would use uh, at a uh, this to mix paint, like at Lowe's or something. You buy some paint at uh, Home Depot, and uh, you can use those kind of sticks. You can use little small pieces of wood. 
Um, another bucket, if you had another trash bucket, you can cut part of the side out. Um, say if you started doing one of these projects and you cut your bucket wrong and you had to go buy another one, um, you can use that to, to make uh, the sides. Now, if you don't care about trying to store it and store your stuff in it, you know, you could just theoretically put it together and leave it alone, whatever, but anyway. Okay, so now we have our sides, keeping it going from right to left. Now, what are we going to do about making it secure? Well, here was my thought. Let me get this puppy lined up here. I'm going to put that here. Now this ain't the right size, but I'm going to just make it the right size. Maybe I should just get a bigger drill bit. Easily manipulated. So I'll put me a little carriage bolt in here with two washers on each side, nuts on each side, just made a little hole. So I got a little carriage bolt sticking out. Okay. Let's see what we got next. My idea is to drill two small holes here, put me a little string lasp in here that I can just connect this to. Cheap, simple, easy. I thought about one of those latches that latch on and pull it tight, um, but I couldn't find one. And I'm just trying to go, this is, I'm sure you might be able to find one of these tubs somewhere, a Coleman wash basin, whatever, you know, from uh, online, 10, 20 bucks. This, so far, now if you already have a bucket, cheaper. If you already have hinges or you already have bolts, even better. But this probably cost me 10 bucks total. So I drilled two holes where this is going to match up. And what I want to do, I'm going to tie it on the inside. And yeah, the more stuff you put in here, the harder it might be to, to, um, to wash. And you got these little screws hanging out. You know, you can put more... Um, bolts in here or cut them off um, stuff like that you know I'm just showing you the down and dirty version everybody can refine it better now what you want to do is take both sides here find just enough to latch it and of course you know you have to latch it and unlatch it so we'll give it a little bit of room here that should be about right so let me pull a little bit more in about right here and I'm just going to take and make a knot and I'm sure you Boy Scouts out there can find some super cross knot left knot square knot half hitch double hitch whatever all those knots are I'm just making a square knot or a round knot or some kind of knot anyway Okay guys, finished product. Now, leave comments below, video responses with your ideas, um, better solutions, better ways to secure this. But this is what I come up with. Very sturdy. Tighten my latch up a little bit. Okay. Very sturdy. Okay. Say okay a lot. Then undo the latch. Simple latch. And you can carry some of your bowls inside, plates. Carry some cups, dishes, whatever. A couple of towels for drying it off. Some laundry detergent. Uh, laundry. Woo! Dishwashing detergent. Um, inside. So when you're ready to, you know, camp, you can open this up, get your stuff out, whatever. Cook your dinner. Put your water in here. Rinse. Draw everything off. You're ready to go. Put your dishes back up. Detergent back up. Towels back in. Bam, ready to go. You can hang this up um, 
inside your camper, put it underneath a sink or something. Um, I mean, it does look a little wobbly, but it's not going to hurt anything. You know, maybe you can refine it a little bit better, put a couple of these pieces around the edges. Um, you know, put one back here, put one back over here, whatever. But this thing will hold. It'll hold fine and dandy. And uh, yeah, under $10. So thanks for watching, and um, let's see what else we can come up with.